This is Sally. Sally is 51 and hasn't been feeling herself for quite some time now. She says that she's been having difficulty sleeping, is struggling concentrating, and isn't experiencing more volatile moods. She's also noticed that her periods have become more regular, her hair seems to be thinning, and she's recently started getting sudden hot flushes. She's keen to get to the bottom of what's going on. We think that Sally is going through something called the menopause. The menopause describes a hormonal change marking the end of a woman's fertile life. It is a natural process that occurs in every woman, commonly between the ages of 45 and 55. But why do women going through the menopause experience these symptoms? Let's go back to basics. A number of hormones are involved in controlling the menstrual cycle, primarily follicle stimulating hormone or FSH, luteinizing hormone, LH, estrogen and progesterone. As we age, our levels of estrogen and progesterone gradually start to fall. The body responds to this fall in these fertility hormones by increasing the release of FSH and LH via a mechanism known as negative feedback. Whilst this temporarily helps boost a woman's estrogen and progesterone, there comes a time when these hormone levels become too low to continue regulating your typical menstrual cycle, eventually leading to the loss of your periods altogether. In fact, the diagnostic feature of the menopause is when a woman doesn't have a period for 12 months. Do I need a blood test to confirm the menopause? Well, usually the GP would be able to diagnose Sally on the basis of her symptoms alone, so no blood test would be required. However, in some cases, a simple blood test to check your hormone levels might be needed. Many women also want to know if there is anything they can do to help with their symptoms of the menopause. There are a number of simple lifestyle changes you can make to help with your symptoms. If these fail to work, the GP will be able to prescribe you hormone replacement therapy. In addition to these current treatments, there is increasing evidence that hypnosis, CBT, acupuncture and yoga can be used to reduce the symptoms of the menopause. In addition, drugs such as paroxetine and oxybutynin have been shown of use in women who don't tolerate HRT, meaning that there is an expanding field of treatment options available. If however you feel that any of the symptoms are too much for you to deal with, or that they're significantly impacting your mood, please speak to your GP as soon as you can as there's almost always something they can do to help.